Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi and welcome to Maggie Diaries, my people. I am your host, Hanifa Adam. At this point, I know it's pretty evident that I like everything food and getting the opportunity to make food for you every episode on this show is just a dream come true. And today is not any different as I will be cooking yet another tasty, nutritious and affordable meal with another friend in my kitchen. Help me welcome our guest for today, Taiwo. Assalamu alaikum sis. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited that you are here. I'm happy to be here as well. <laughs> now that we've welcomed Taiwo, I will tell you what we are cooking. This food comes with a lot of twists and shall I say it's quite new. So today we'll be cooking Peanut and coconut jollof. Have you heard of this meal before? No. <laughs> Today is the first time for everything. All right, friends. It's time for us to go on a quick break. And when we come back, we'll be preparing this unique meal. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. To make peanuts and coconut jollof, you need rice. It's already parboiled and almost done. Peanut butter, tatashe, shaved coconut, thyme, curry, tomatoes, coconut milk, stock. It can be chicken stock or beef stock, whichever one you like. Dried fish, vegetable oil, scotch bonnet, Maggie chicken powder, Maggie star cube, tomato paste, onion, dried prawns, granite, ginger, and garlic. Have you had this kind of meal before? No, it's quite new to me, actually. I know, we are combining peanuts and coconuts. These components are actually quite fatty. You know, coconut milk is like very good fat, peanut butter it's is- Tasty as well. Exactly, so this combo, very interesting. How do you think it will be? I feel it might have you know, like granite soup, that kind of taste. Oh, have you had granite soup I before? haven't, but I've heard of it, uh, so we, I know. We had granite soup in the kitchen oh, and it was great. quite tasty. So You think it's probably going yeah, to be I feel on this would be like a short profile. cut of granite instead of blending the granite oh, so you yeah. peanut butter. That's true. Although this granite and this shaved coconut is going to be like for the garnish at the oh. end. We're going to crush the granite and we're going to put the coconut shaved shavings coconut. as well. But okay. this is going to go in our sauce. Oh, great. Yeah. I so can't I'm wait with... to see what we make. <laughs> I can't wait to see it too. Do you have any idea of the nutritional values in this meal? I can't say, but I know there are lots of vitamins because there's tomatoes, so there's pepper, scotch bonnet, and even onions. The, yeah, even the fish, the prawns. Then the, the prawns, protein, proteins as well. And then the really nice, good fat. So now that my pot has dried up, I'm going to just start cooking. Because there's peanuts in our meal, and you know, it is like Nigerians go to snack most of the time. What other ways do you eat peanuts? Nuts? I think the regular Nigerian way, your yeah. gari is not complete without granite. <laughs> exactly. So, and then if it's peanut butter as a spread on bread, that's the regular so that's the simple way. way yeah. That. Let me just add the onions. I'm just going to stir that together. I'm going to add the ginger and garlic, okay. finely chopped. Then a little bit of thyme, my spice spoon. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. And curry as well. It's already having that nice smell. I know, because of the onion and, and the, the spices. Garlic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We are re releasing the flavor into the oil. And then my Maggie star cube. Okay, can you please help me with one? Thank you. So the reason why we are putting this maggi at the beginning is so that it can give that very nice flavor to your meal okay. and make it wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. That is the secret ingredient in my kitchen. So I'm going to add the tomatoes so that we can get some, some moisture some in here. Some of the juices from the Yeah, juice. yeah. And scotch bonnet. You're not afraid of pepper, are you? Nah, not okay. at all. I like pepper. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
and then the tomato paste as well. I want it to simmer for a bit. Yes, I would like to let the vegetable cook for a while before okay. adding the tomato paste. Okay, okay. And we don't need to mix it with water because everything we have like to dry. Add. You want to dry? Yeah. We are still going to add our stock and our coconut milk in it. Oh, okay, I see. So I'm just going to stir it for a few minutes. Now that our stirring is done, I'm going to add in the tomato, tomato paste. Tea. It is going to give it that rich color and flavor. So it has the tomato flavor. Exactly. Okay. So I'm just going to add the peanut butter to it as well. Let me Are we going to um, stir this with water or just... Oh, no, not really. We are going to just add everything into it. I think this dollop is fine. We just need okay, the great. nuttiness of the flavor in it. The peanut is going to melt now because, you know, <laughs> very nice fat component. All right. Does it look like an interesting texture Well, I guess for you? we're still in the process, so <laughs> <laughs> time will tell. It doesn't look like something you're new, familiar. Yeah, exactly. It's not a familiar ground for me at all, so time will tell. That's the beautiful thing about Maggie Diaries. It's a beautiful place for you to like learn new things and discover interesting flavor yeah. profiles. Is this <laughs> a foreign dish, this inspiration of peanuts in... No, it's not. I mean, you know, in Nigeria, we have peanut soup. We use peanuts in our dishes a lot. You know, there is kuli kuli, there is oh. doronkwa. So it is not so something... it's a northern influence. It's not yeah. foreign. It's not like overseas. Well, we have granola soup in the south down oh, here too as well. So exactly, exactly. So I've added this stock and the... Oh, okay. look at how beautiful that is. Okay. So the coconut milk. I'm just, if we do not have enough water, we can add to it when... Regular device, water. Exactly. Not, okay. No, no, the stock and the Yeah, milk. what if you no longer have stock? Is it fine to then add can, water? Yes, yes. Then just season along. Exactly. So I'm just going to okay. put in the fish. I'm going to flake it a little bit so that we have it into tiny pieces. So now I'm going to add the dried prawns. I love the color it's giving already. I know, it's actually quite it's a... It's dull, the red, so it's looking a bit pink, pink. orange. It like, looks like exactly. your outfit doesn't... Kind of. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to let this cook. Okay. And we'll go on a break. When we come back, we're going to continue with the rest of the meal. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. Before we went on a break, we were making our sauce and right now I'm just going to add the rice to it. I wanted to ask you, when did you start fasting like the month of Ramadan? I think I was about 10 years old. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah. but oh, then I used to fast like till 2 p.m. Exactly. Not, that was, not yeah, exactly. PM, not till 7. <laughs> and they will reward you by giving you like an afternoon yeah, of when, milk. Yeah, once my parents when said that my face is dull by 2, they were like, Love I'm going to give her food. See, I'm even uh -huh. going to confess. I was small, so it is not a sin. <laughs> I, have, I have sneaked in water before. When I, when yeah. I was really, oh, I was just going to be bathing in the bathroom. The first thing that surprised me, me during that time was when I discovered that if you eat something by mistake, you can still fast. Oh, yeah. That so that was one thing that surprised me because I remember something that happened. Oh. I ate banana by mistake and then I was like, oh, I, I forgot I'm fasting. I and like... I was like, oh, well, I've broken my fast and I kept on eating it. So oh, they were no. like, then you've broken your fast. <laughs> So yeah, it's a message from was, Allah. Mm. Maybe you notice that, ah, oh, your body needs the banana. You know, he knows best, right? Your yeah. body needs banana, then it's going to make sure you mistakenly eat the banana. That's like the angle that I used to look to at To console it. yourself. <laughs> so I'm stirring it all up together. I also remember the first time I actually completed like the whole month as well. We were fasting in school. And I didn't used to eat a lot in school anyway, so it was easy for me to finish my fast. It's easier to fast when you are doing it as a group. Like you have support systems. Oh, and people, maybe that was why. Yeah, so you have like your mates doing it. Nobody's eating lunch, so you are not eating Ex lunch. Oh, well. maybe that was why I finished my fast. So we are done with the meal, and I've added the Maggi chicken powder. It is also a convenient way for you to add flavor to your meal and a beautiful option at that. I'm just going to stir it together. If you are already satisfied with the texture of the rice, okay. you can just leave it. But if we are not, we can add more stock or coconut milk. But right now, I think that this is good to go. Um, This rice, this nutty coconut rice, is it supposed to have like um banga or risotto kind of vibe that is gummy can, or it's supposed to stand on its own? Well, it has, because you remember that the sauce was thick. 
you know, because of the creaminess of the coconut oil, okay. the creaminess of the peanut butter, that's why it has the risotto vibe. Okay. Okay. Great. So can you please help me crush the peanuts? Because we are going to use it. Okay. We're going to sprinkle it on the rice so that when we serve it, it will be like our finishing garnish. Before I cover the pot and let that continue to simmer, I've put it on low heat because it's basically cooked. I'm going to add the coconut shavings. Not everything, because I still want to use some on the table side. Okay. All right, and the crushed peanuts. We are just going to continue crushing it for me. We'll put that in there later. Okay. But we are going to go on a quick break, and when we come back, our iftar is going to be ready and served. Thank you so much for crushing the peanuts for me. I did it so well. <laughs> you, perfect. I wonder if they sell already crushed peanuts like this. Oh, exactly. I don't think I've seen granite like that. So let me just stir it all up together. Okay. Oh, uh, that looks good and it smells amazing as I really well. I can't wait, honestly, <laughs> to be a nice first time experience. Yeah, exactly. It will be, I promise you. So I'm just going to turn off the heat and then let the heat in the pot finish up the cooking. We are going to be eating a special peanut and coconut jollof with chicken. But first, let's clear out the kitchen. Yay, it's almost <laughs> seven. <laughs> now that our meal is ready, we are going to plate it up for iftar. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. The star is ready and I'm sure you guys can't wait to dig in. I can't. I really I'm can't. so excited. Oh, look, at, look at what we did. Look mm, at what It smells amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't eat it in the pot anyway, so I'm just going to Ooh. serve. Yeah. Okay, let me help you with your place here. Thank you. You have to promise me that you are going to try this at home. I'm so excited for either feature already. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be on the menu. Oh, nice. It's a fantastic option as well. Oh, let's dig in. I mean, nice. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Oh, I can't. I've had mine, and it's basically blew my mind because I'm so happy with what we came up with in the kitchen. I can't wait to know what you think about it as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. It's really tasty. I'm really happy about your excitement. See how amazing our meal is looking. The color, the combination, aroma, and definitely the taste will be equally amazing. This meal is just breathtaking. Trust me when I say when you have to make this meal for family members and friends, especially during iftar, they would love it. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms for more meals like this. And we would love to hear what you think about this meal as well. So comment, like, and share. It's time to say goodbye till I see you again. Have a wonderful time. Remember, with Maggie, everyone is welcome. Masalam. <laughs>